Election coverage now. Idaho Falls Mayor Rebecca Casper is running for re-election, saying her possible third term would be her last. Local News 8's Rachel Fabi spoke with the mayor about her campaign. I uh, look back to why I ran in the first place. I um, am a parent and uh, I'm also a former Girl Scout. And you know, one of the Scout rules is that you leave someplace better than you found it. And certainly as a parent, I want to leave the place that I live and the place that I love. Um, better than I found it. Incumbent Mayor Rebecca Casper has been focusing on economic development since her first term. And part of that is, is aimed at uh, growing your tax base and that lowers everybody's you know individual uh, tax burden but it also creates an environment where you have more jobs where you have uh, hopefully better jobs and you have bit more services and, and uh, you know uh, opportunities and things like that. And like her challenger Ashley Romero she's also focusing on housing. You want to be able to grow your community in a smart way. And so I will uh, continue to place emphasis on making sure that we uh, grow um, uh, not just at the fringes where we get new housing developments or we get, uh, you know, new miles and miles of housing, but we want to grow intelligently so that we can have that live, work, play kind of feeling throughout the city um, and not just just have one kind of growth in one area. She also tells me about plans the city has for transportation. Um, this coming summer, there's a plan to uh, redo the, the intersection at 17th and Woodruff. And uh, that'll, uh, when it's done, be you know, able to handle more vehicles and speed you know, things up. If you've ever been in, in a two light process there, it'll be a welcome change. Um, so we want to be able to shape growth in ways that make sense and, and that is smart. And, and we are working toward that. I also asked her about what she wants to accomplish in her possible last term. I also um, am looking forward to some new developments with Idaho Falls Power and energy that we uh, you know, bring to people and, and some of the things that we have uh, in mind for keeping rates down. Um, one of the things that's most ex uh, wonderful about living in Idaho Falls is that our power rates are terrific. Uh, we have work to do on making sure that our water supply um, is adequate for the future and uh, so that, that those, those conversations are ongoing and they have been for a decade and they will be for a, a while longer. She says she's also excited about Imagine IF. The comprehensive plan had more citizens get involved and will be out hopefully by the end of the year. In Idaho Falls, I'm Rachel Fabby. In fairness, we did talk with challenger Ashley Romero. Her story aired yesterday. You can find both stories on our website at localnews8.com or our app.